segment tonight. I hope you'll pardon this upcoming exercise. As you may know, we feature Fox News correspondents and contributors telling you about their backgrounds. Well, tonight, it's my turn. I want to go back to third grade. <laughs> if you can remember that part back. Something you're doing causes Sister Lorana, Sister Mary, to say, William, you are a bold, fresh piece of humanity. That's I mean, where it all started. I was a little thug, all right, in uh, St. Bridget's School. And I, I, you, me, and a couple of the other, we just want to have a few laughs. We were kind of bored with it, you know, third grade. So I would just do annoying things. And then the nun would come down and, and call us names and give us a little... Hat, right. slap and hit you know with the eraser or whatever i think this is interesting for the folks number one when i was 10 my father says you gotta go work so i cut lawns and i shoveled snow in the winter okay yeah all right then i graduated to carvel the ice cream stand when i was 16 years old then i got my lifeguard uh certification water safety instructor but you more than doubled your salary yeah and i made some pretty good money out of long island uh teaching people to swim and i saved a couple of people but it wasn't enough. I said, now I gotta go to college and now I gotta have some money. So we started a painting business and we actually painted houses. We undercut the union painters, <laughs> which wasn't real smart, nice. but they weren't gonna kill us so we could run fast. But we painted these loving houses and I had a crew of four or five. We made humongous money. I had shoe boxes full of cash. And that put me through spending money and other things for college. I wanna talk to you, uh, you about your, your journalism studies at Boston University. My mother went there. She has a physical therapy degree from there, and I went there to go to journalism school, get a degree in broadcast journalism, and it was the greatest because all the Watergate stuff and, and the busing was huge in Boston. So I got to cover stories on a freelance basis while I was in school, and I would get a little money for writing the stories, and I'd hand in those stories as papers to the Pinhead BU professors. So it worked perfectly, and I had a great time. In the spring of 1969, right, your friends were accepted to the third year abroad program. Now, you were not accepted at first. Well, my third year in college, at Marist College, I was playing football, and, uh, you know, I kind of thought I might want to stay and not go. But then uh, one of the guys at Marist said, you know, you're really not smart enough to go abroad anyway. <laughs> yeah! So, of course, I went. And uh, once I got to London and learned that there was something different than Levittown and Poughkeepsie, New York, and your whole world expands. We had adventures. It was Europe on $5 a day. You know, we stayed in youth hostels. But I learned more in that year than in the other preceding 20 years combined. Well, you write in your book, uh, Bold, Fresh Piece of Humanity, your core belief.